Hello you beautiful people of YouTube. We are back again today working on the Fiesta and I have got Puma Speed parts again. So first of all a massive thank you to Puma Speed, Jason and Tony for sorting out some parts. So what we got is a baffle sump plate. Now most of you will probably know what a baffle sump plate is. For those who don't, just very quickly, it uh, goes in the sump and it stops oil surge. So you get your oil sloshes around when you're hard cornering. Your pickups in here where it sucks the oil up from and it contains the oil in here for as long as possible while you're cornering hard. So you, you don't get that slosh and get oil starvation. And these are like little trap doors. So we'll allow, allow the oil to flow in. Obviously once that's full of oil, it'll sort of close that up and it'll stop any fast release of the oil while you're cornering. They work great and that's going to be beneficial for me on track so you can see it comes with the R Sport logo and these are brand new on the market from Puma Speed I think they're about £105 at the moment come with the fitting bolts and stuff like that just quickly going to interrupt Jason has gone in touch and he said if you buy the um, baffle using my team SPS code and that by that code I mean you have to put it into the search bar regular viewers will know Puma Speed search bar and uh, team SPS I'll put the uh, um, details in the description as well it'll bring up discounted items the baffle is in there it, it won't be on a discount but it will come with a free sump plug so that's only if you buy it through the team SPS section so let's get back to the video so we're going to do a fitting video on that uh, let's not look at it as a complete how-to because I am done one of these before I'm going to work my way through it but I think you will be able to benefit from me doing it as we go so the other stuff I've got is a Symposa Delete Bang I won't be fitting that today but that's another Puma Speed branded one uh, but I will be fitting one of these which is the sun plug uh, I've got two because we're going to do a giveaway at the end of the video I'm going to, I'm going to have a think how I'm going to do it but one of them will be up for grabs um, stick around to the end of the video and I'll explain the competition details also I have some stickers available for anyone interested I have white, black and grey these gel badges will be going on the car they've been done for me by Crazy Gel Decals I'll put a link in the description for, for his um, Instagram so you can get in touch with him if you want the stickers any colour £3 each or two for a fiver posted Right, without further ado, let's get on to the car and start the video. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I've got the oil draining. I'm actually draining that now into a clean container because I'm going to reuse that. If you remember a few videos back, I've done the oil and the car hasn't been driven since. So I'll be going back in. And what we've got to do then is disconnect the boost pipe here and do the bolts. The two bolts on that, I'll remove that pipe out of the way. And then we'll start uh, taking the sump bolts out. Right, so as you can see, I've just cable tied that over the way because I can see this being a nuisance. I don't want to take the whole pipe off. I'm going to leave that on. That should allow us now to, to drop the sump down without it fouling on that. Right, so now it's a case of undoing the bolts. We've got four going into the gearbox here, and then the rest in the pattern around. So for the main sump bolts, now you have, let me show you, so you have these, you can see all around here, so there's five down here, five down the back side, and then three up here, so there is a pattern sequence around there, you start from the middle, go across, and then work your, your way out. Now, what I will do, I'll try and put a screenshot of the pattern, so you can pause the video and then you'll have the pattern if you need it. And use that for tightening up as well and also the torque settings but we'll discuss the torque at the end so 
I'm going to crack them all loose with a wrench and I'll take them up with a gun. So what I've done now, I've left these two on the other side quite slack because the sump is bonded on the gasket sealant. So we're going to break it free and these two bolts will stop it from dropping to the floor. Right, so I've got some screwdrivers to try and pry it down. But we don't want to damage any of the mating faces. So right there, if you can see, there's a bit of a gap between the protruding part and the block. So I can get a screwdriver in there and I'm going to try and work that and then I'll have a look around and find some other points that I can pry from without causing any damage so we'll give that a bit of go first and see if that breaks the bond there you are it's coming free and do them bolts now and drop them down. easy job to be honest so next thing you're looking to do it now is bolting up the, the baffle right okay so when you look at your oil pickup now you can see there's a bolt there and there's one on the other side there and you're going to take them two bolts out so the first thing you'll do undo them get them out Right, so them two bolts that you just took out now you're not going to reuse them because where this goes up it's going to be um spacer down with these and then you've got the new bolts then to go up so I'll set up the camera and we start bolting them in before we put this up now i'm going to put my bolts to on the spacers and we can hold them in as we put it up make sure you get your washers on your bolts Right, so there's only one way this will go. The uh, notch out here has obviously got to go over the pipe. Right, so that's just lightly put in place. Couldn't be simpler. Now, I don't have the torque settings for these bolts, so judging by the torque setting of how the bolt's going into alloy, I'm going to assume around about 15 to 20 newton meters, so that's what I'm going to torque this to. Right, there you have it. That's torqued up and in place. Such a simple thing, but going to be so effective on track. So you can see now when I look at that the pick up there. He's going to have oil contained all around it now. That will help with forward surge, although that's not the biggest issue. The biggest issue is sideways surge from long and hard corners, so I'm pretty chuffed with that. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to clean up the mating surface of the sun. Let's have a look. So yeah, I can clean all this gasket sealer off. And then we're going to prepare it then, ready to stick it back on. Right, what I'm going to do before I uh, put the sump back in, I'm going to clean the oil, oil out and get it all nice and tidy in it. And what I'm going to use is this Ubik 2000, and this is brilliant. 
as a, as a degreaser. Chuck a bit of that in. I'll work that in with a paintbrush in a second and I'll come up spotless. Right, so that's all cleaned out. I've um, cleaned all the face. You've got still got some of this um, gasket that's down in the recess. Oh, one little bit there. Um, but in the main, these are all down low. I mean, I could spend all day. I've um, cleaned it with a blade. I've gone over this with 400 grit sandpaper trying to clean up so that anything that's left is just the tiniest residue. But I'm happy with that. I've always done them like on a pass and I've never had a problem. So now we got to get under and clean all the face of the the engine. I've cleaned up that face now. That's as clean as I can get it over there. There's still a slight residue of the black, but it's uh, it's pretty smooth, and I'm pretty confident the sealant will uh, will do the job on it anyway. So now we're gonna lay a bead of sealant sealant on the sump. Lay a bead around there and we'll check him on. Right, so I've got some of this uh, silicone gasket that I bought just from the local motor factors. So we're going to plonk ourselves a bead on. Right, so I'm going to try and get this up here now without splodging it everywhere, making too much of a mess. What I have got to watch is the uh, the cam cover tree, not the cam cover, auxiliary belt tree. Let's get it up over that. Right, All the bolts just loosely in place. We're now going to go around in sequence and start tightening them to 19 newton meters. Okay, so for these bigger bolts now, these need more torque. They need uh, 48 newton meters. So that's it. Everything is torqued up and the nice reassuring squelch out of sealant you can see there so all i got to do now is put the boost pipes back on and fill the oil but i won't be filling the oil till tomorrow i'm going to leave this have a day to go off before i put the oil in so we'll get the boost pipes on and and then the boost pipes will be done Right, so that is it. Boost pipes back on. Like I say, only thing left is oil, and that's going in tomorrow. Okay, so now we're going to do the competition so you can win the sun plug. I've got something else to add in a minute, but I firstly just want to update you on what's happening with the bumper. Um, Delta Styling have been amazing helping me out and sorting things out. So the resolution of the situation is in about a month's time from now. I'm making a visit up to them. They're going to scan the paint on my car, um, and then we're going to get a colour match on from there. So that's going to be the best result. of then going up there and then MCA. They want it to look perfect, so do I. So on to the competition then. So we got the sun plug. It'll be the red one that I'll be giving away, and also. I have got some carbon fibre bits which I'll show you now. Now these went up in a, a competition I run um, before I bought the Crashed Fiesta. Um, I put results up and they were never claimed. Now the results for that competition went up in the community tab where I can put a community tab post. 
uh, no one claimed them now if you then now go to that tab and you see your name is in it unfortunately that's over you've had too long to claim it um, they're now gonna run over into other competitions um, reason I'm doing that is um, I want the winners to be people who are really following the channel so I may put the results up to this competition in another video they may feature on Instagram or it may be put up as a community tab on the YouTube post so the, what, the ones who are following me and enjoying the videos are the ones I want to win and they are the ones who are going to see the community tab post so unfortunately if you won the last ones that's gone so I'm going to show you what we've added so you will have the plug there's a carbon fiber steering wheel insert and this is from red 5 carbon I'll put a link in the description as well and also a carbon fiber ST key ring so the winner is going to take all of them now the competition is you've got to guess a number between 1 and 300 and you only get one guess that number I have already wrote on the back of this sticker that's going to go in the envelope and it's going to get sealed up and then when the competition is over we'll open it up and I'll see who's got the closest number or if anyone's got the number correct so you only get one entry in the past I've allowed two entries this is going to be one entry only um, I don't want no moaning about fixing anything like that it's not going to be fixed I'm going to be 100% honest as I always have been that is getting sealed in the envelope now and that number will be revealed once I end the competition I'm not sure exactly when it's going to end might be a few days might be a week or whatever but just you keep your eyes on um, Instagram my videos and on the community tab post right so I think that sums up everything thank you very much for watching hopefully you enjoy this video and one little thing in the description down below you may see a little donation tab yeah donation tab I don't want to say it properly I just want to matter it because I know some people get their backs up but anyway, have a look. There's something in there. If you enjoy the channel and you want to help support what I'm doing, there's an option there. So anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.